Um, I'll start off. I'm Arie. I'm in Half Moon Bay, California. And I'm just curious to see how your lifetime of work, Benita, with, with, uh, with women in organizations and gender and the relationships between women and men is, is just going to unfold here in this conversation uh, with all of us. Um, I'm just going to go around on my screen here and, and call on each of you, if I may. Uh, Wendy. Uh, I'm Wendy, and I'm uh, also in Half Moon Bay, and um, there's such a, a wide variety of us, different experiences here, uh, so I'm very interested to see the, the common themes as well, and uh, my background uh, has been nursing, which is uh, pretty much a female-dominated profession, and we have our own issues, which I'll talk about later. Thank you, Wendy. Um, Usman. Yeah. Um, hello, everyone. My name is um, Usman Mohamed Inua. I live in Bauchi State in northeastern Nigeria. Um, actually, I, I'm just like uh, I um, said, I'm so curious to hear. Um, about what Nita um, will say to us and what we're going to learn from her experience, the work she um, did uh, back there in the States. And also, like she mentioned, uh, she also works with um, women in Kenya, that's African country. Um, I, I mean, I, I would be so, so, so interested to learn about the work she's doing, how she's bridging the gap, um, the gender, uh, you know, inequality, uh, the stereotypes um, that exist uh, even among the women themselves and also um, between women and men and how men, especially in Africa, are treating the um, women. So, um, I think it would be a great opportunity for me to um, listen to what she um, has to say and learn from um, her experience. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Usman. Uh, Bill, how about you? Uh, I'm Bill Goldberg, and uh, I worked in uh, various parts of Silicon Valley for uh, around 35 years. Um, I worked in certain fields that were largely uh, dominated by women. I was in quality assurance and technical support um, and worked under uh, mostly female bosses. Um, there's an issue uh, these days affected me in Silicon Valley and other high-tech work where ageism is a major, major player. Uh, and I would say for women more than men at this point. But uh, also my connection with Arya and Wendy is through the uh, Renewal Jewish Community, House of Love and Prayer, and uh, Shlomo Karbach and Salman. Thank you, Bill. Um, Okay, the question, let's see, what are we asking ourselves? Um, what, what are we curious about in today's conversation? Um, who's, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Ofu, where are you? I'm, I'm trying to unmute your video here. There we go. Okay, James Ofu. Oh, I can't hear you. Uh, your your audio is not coming through. Okay, uh, I hear me now. Now I can hear you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, my name is uh, James Ofo from Cote d'Ivoire. Um, I'm a relationship builder. Um, I work on the project that um, encourage uh, unity in diversity and uh, equality in dignity. Um, 
I am so curious to learn from Bonita because uh, I have a lot of uh, uh, importance on the subject Bonita is sharing with us today about gender equality. So I'm bringing in this uh, network, uh, hope to improve diversity in culture and inclusion in general. Thank you. Thank you, Ofu. Uh, Stuart. Good morning, Stuart Gill, and I'm here in Morgan Hill, California, just south of San Jose. And <clears throat> I guess I'm curious, uh, and this will be interesting today, to see how uh, a group of people, and Ari and I have talked about this a little bit, I think, with very uh, broad uh, diversity, and in this case, we're focusing on, um, on women a little bit more, but a broad base of diversity of people who share a common uh, denominator of values. And that's my sense of what we all share and purpose to make a difference in the world and how this can happen. And one thing that came to mind as I was hearing some of you speak is that one of the things that I've thought about so frequently and where this will be interesting today is that so much of what has been the foundation of our history um, and especially in religion uh, is based upon what men have created and even in politics up until recent times. So how do we ensure that we hear the voices of women appropriately and make the shifts as well as all other folks, you know, I talk about diversity, but how do we hear the voices and make the appropriate shifts that we need to make to make the difference in the world that we're trying to make. 